Well, hello there, guys. Welcome back to the Happy Libra. Uh, just one sec. Hey there, guys. I'm back. Okay. Sorry if you hear a little noise in the background. It's just a heater that I have on because the room is getting a little bit cold. Okay. So, um, yeah. Today we're going to be looking at the lovely, the beautiful, the heartthrob of the 90s, Brad Pitt. Um, I think he might be a Capricorn. I haven't really looked at the chart. I don't remember anything. Sta okay, so like three years ago or more than that, I did a reading or I did a astrological check-in on him, Angelina, and what's the other one's name? The woman that he dated, Jennifer Aniston, because I wanted to see who was the best match for him. And in case you're wondering, it turned out to be Jennifer Aniston. And there was some interesting things in Angelina's chart. So Brad's, I don't remember his chart. Uh, there was nothing that stood out to me, but we're going to have a look at it today. And I'm going to post it and we're going to find out together. Let's see what's up. So welcome back to the Happy Libra. Uh, the first thing I have to let you know is these readings are for entertainment purposes only. These readings are for entertainment purposes only. And I do not know these people. And these readings don't mean anything about these people's personality. Now, on the flip side, I have been reading astrology for over 13 years. I know what I'm doing. I started doing this because I was wanting a tool to help me detect cheater energy in a guy. Anywho, I've got to get to the reading just in case. Yeah, let me get to the reading. Oh, so right off the bat, he is Jupiter and Aries. Okay, so listen, Jupiter and Aries is very self-focused. Zac Efron had the same placement and I said the same thing about him. They're very self-focused. They can't help it. You may or may not see it right when you meet them because actually I just remember I dated somebody like that. They're very self-focused, okay? So you could be in a relationship with this person and there may be moments, no, there's going to be a lot of moments where you're going to feel like you're single and you're going to be like, wait a minute, but I have a boyfriend. So why do I feel like I'm single? Because that person wants to be doing Aries things. What is Aries things? They want to be out on adventures. They want freedom. They want to um, go and mix and mingle with other people. They want to, everything is self, self, self. These people, they don't really see themselves as being in a relationship when they're in a relationship. So you can take that how you want. Okay, moving on. Um, that's just how it is, ladies. That's just how it is. So if you're going to date somebody, find out their astrological information. And yeah, if you want, I can check out his chart for you. Okay, so he has Venus in Capricorn in the second house. What is this telling me? Ooh, this person loves money. Ooh, this person loves money. Yes, yes, yes. Now his personal love filter is is that of Capricorn what does that tell me oh gosh I don't want to say what I'm thinking I don't like the word clout because I feel like it's overused but it is possible that this person could want to be with a person based on their reputation or their status or let me just say their ability to to bring them up somehow in their status I know it's not sounding so good as it but that's what I'm seeing okay so on the other side this person they love in a practical sense what does that mean they want when they love you they want to do practical things for you say hey honey can you take out the garbage yeah no problem you know because I love this girl I do practical things for her um hey honey can we go see some mo a movie tonight I love this girl, you know, so going out with her, yes, I want to do practical things with her because that is how I show my love. I demonstrate my love in a practical Capricornian sense. That's just what it is. That's what I'm getting from that. His moon is also there, which tells me, the, so the moon talks about how moody and changeable we are. It also tells us how easy it is for us to become emotionally attached to things. And the sign that it's sitting in tells us the types of things that, that this person can become emotionally attached to. So the fact that his moon is sitting in Capricorn tells me again, the same thing as I said before, this person loves money. This person loves money. If this person doesn't have money, they're probably not going to be happy in a relationship. Um, what else is it telling me? They need to know that their money is, is, is working for them long term in order to feel emotionally at peace. I know that's a lot. 
They need to feel that their money is working for them in order to feel emotionally at peace. What does that mean? Retirement plans, savings, um, just knowing that the money is there and that it's making life stable so that there won't be any things that are unpredictable. Um, The money is intended to give them peace long term because that's all about Capricorn. So yes, finances, status, uh, looking good, these things make this person feel emotionally balanced within. Mercury, okay, this was in somebody else's reading recently. I said that when you meet this person, if you're dating somebody like this, who has Mercury in Capricorn, they're probably going to talk about themselves and their accomplishments a lot. That's just how they're probably going to try to impress you. And I also pose the question, okay, well, will he want to hear about you? Personally, I think that these types of people only want to hear about you if you have achieved a lot in your life as well. Other than that, they'll be talking about themselves, especially with that Jupiter and Aries over here. Okie dokers. So, Ooh, he has Mars and Capricorn. Okay, I had somebody very close to me in my family who had Mars and Capricorn. Yeah, this person has Mars and Capricorn. Um, I don't want to say certain things. Um, being around a Mars and Capricorn person, meh. Okay, so Cancerian energy will make a person parental in a nurturing, loving kind of way. This Mars and Capricorn will make a person parental in a, a authoritative type of way, in a bossy type of way, and nobody likes that. So they will con- constantly be uh, kind of sharing their authority with you or taking the reins or taking that lead and you will know it and you will not like it and you will not enjoy it. Um, that's what Capricorn energy does and he has his Mars planet there and he's sorry about that and his Mars talks about motivation action physical it's the aggression so the fact that it's in mars ooh, yeah i was reading something online about you know him and you know whose relationship so now that i'm looking at his astrology i'm kind of understanding it is possible that people with this placement i don't know him personally People with displacement can use physical aggression to kind of force their uh, desired way of being or whatever it is that they want upon you. That is an absolute possibility for Mars and Capricorn. It's it's force of authority. So it's like I force you to do what I think is right. I'm just saying it. That's that's what it is. That's what it says. Okay. He's oh he's a Sag. He's a Sag. So he's supposed to be a total gentleman. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, wow, he's supposed to be a total gentleman. I'm sure he is a gentleman, but you know what we say, some people say that, you know, people are a certain way until you get to know them or until you live with them, right? When you live with someone, that's when you really get to know who they are. So he's a Sag, he's a total gentleman, and going on a date with him with him would be really nice because he's going to treat you like a queen and he's going to act like a king and you're going to feel blessed because this guy's going to smell nice and he's going to wear a nice suit and he's going to drive a nice car and he's going to be a gentleman and open the car door for you and it's only after you live with him will you learn about that mars and capricorn i'm just saying i'm just saying ladies i'm just saying that's just that's why i started learning astrology and if you have a guy that you would like to kind of take the next steps in your relationship with whether it be marriage or moving in i highly recommend you get somebody like me who's going to be honest with you and tell you this person's personality before you start you know taking those steps okay so i do offer that as a service contact me for me to check a guy's chart i charge about 20 25 dollars and i'm going to be brutally honest with you and i'm not going to hold anything back so it looks like i may have covered everything here so just a quick recap um yeah, he, yeah, I don't want to use the A-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E word, but that can be that can be there. Um, and I said that this person is very self-focused. Some people, you may date somebody, I dated somebody like this, and it felt like I was single. Mm-hmm. And um, what else is there? The moon, um, he likes finances, and he likes... Uh, the way that you know it's really hard for me to say good things in this reading um he likes finances and status and he likes to have a good reputation that's important and um 
I mean, we're, I'm trying to find something really good, but I mean, he has nice blue eyes, right? 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 Um, what I think about this chart is this person, if they do have good looks, and we know in this case he does, I think he's going to be able to kind of attract women very easily. But I think once you get to know him, you're going to be like, uh, no, this is not feeling good because a woman wants attention. She wants to feel number one. She wants to feel pampered. She wants to feel like you're the king who's treating her like a queen and you will always do so and you have the awareness to do so. But this whole thing that is going on here, ah, uh, yeah. So I hope, you know, if this reading was entertaining for you and you enjoyed just getting the astrological truth, right? Then please do give this a video a thumbs up because that's what I do. That's what I do. And if you know of any other celebrities from 90s, 2000s, even now, who are really hot and cute and you want me to do a reading for them, leave their name in the comments for me. I'd really appreciate that because I don't watch movies or TV that much. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more readings. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching the Happy Libra. Bye for now.